dear viewers greetings this present video is about the uh, bacterial endospores uh, bacterial endospores are the resisting non reproductive structure formed by the bacteria for its uh, survival during the adverse and unfavorable environmental conditions the endospores are first discovered by john tindall he discovered that the heat resistant endospores of bacteria which survived after heating at 100 degrees celsius that is the that means after boiling the endospores are variable in size and location within the cell and they are uh, structurally metabolically and functionally different from the vegetative cells and the endospores are commonly found in soil and water and this is the uh, structure of the endospores the structure of the endospore is very co very complex because of the presence of uh, multiple layers and this is the uh, this this region is the structure of endospores and the whole region is is the uh, spore mother cell okay uh, the structure of the endospore is very complex because of the presence of uh, its multi layer covering the outermost layer is the exosporium this outermost layer is the exosporium uh, it is relatively uh, thin and delicate uh, beneath the uh, exosporium the region is the spore coat and this spore coat contains the several layer of proteins and the spore coat is comparatively thick and the thickness of the spore coat is the major reason for the higher resistance of endospores towards the heat radiation and chemicals and in it to the spore coat the region is the cortex the first region is exosporium second region is the spore coat the third region is this is cortex the cortex is a thicker wall layer in the endospores and it is uh, very large and sometimes occupy as much as uh, off of the spore volumes uh, this cortex is composed of uh, the peptidoglycan uh, the peptidoglycan in the cortex is uh, less cross linked than the uh, peptidoglycan of the normal vegetative bacterial cells the innermost layer of the spore is called as the spore wall or core wall this region this region is the core wall or spore wall and this core wall covers the central protoplast or core of the endospores and the endospore core has a normal cell structure and then the vegetative cells and the inside the core the dna the basic and very important uh, uh, component is present within the core wall the core wall also contains the ribosomes along with the dna this is the structure of the endospores and there are two major components are present in the endospores uh, the first one is dipicolinic acid it is located in the core of the endospores the core part of the endospores the calcium dipicolinic acid complex reduces uh, water available and helps to dehydrate the endospores and this dipicolinic acid inserted into the dna and destabilizes the dna from the heat heat denaturation and specifically the dipicolinic acid prevents uh, the heat that uh, heat denaturation of the dna that is present within the endospore second component is the small acid soluble uh, proteins and this sasp is bind to the dna in the core and to protect the dna from the damage and it also uh, sasp is also function as carbon and energy source uh, when forming vegetative cells to the spore cells next is the endospore producing bacteria uh, endospore production is highly observed in gram positive bacteria and uh, less observed in gram negative bacteria uh, some of the common uh, endospore producing bacteria are uh, clostridium species and bacillum and bacillus species uh, which are very familiarly known as uh, gram positive bacilli the other genera of endospore producing bacteria includes uh, d sulfoto maculum uh, sulfo lactobacillus sporosacchina Oscillospira and thermoactinum acids. Uh, since not all the bacteria form the endospores, uh, so we can use the presence of endospore as an identification factor that is through endospore staining methods. Next, the location of endospores in the bacterial cell. 
the endospores are uh, present in four different locations of the bacterial cell. Uh, in the first one is the central spores or equatorial, and this kind of arrangement is uh, uh, is appeared in Bacillus cereus and the Clostridium bifermentus and appearing as a spindle shape. The second one is the subterminal spores. Uh, this kind of subterminal spores are present in the Clostridium perfringens, uh, appearing as a club-shaped appearance. Third one is the terminal oval spores, and this type of uh, uh, spores are present in the Clostridium uh, tertium and resembling as a tennis racket shape. And the final location is the terminal spherical spores. Uh, this kind of uh, arrangement is observed in Clostridium tetani and giving the drumstick appearance. Next is the sporulation or sporogenesis. Uh, the process of endospore formation within the bacterial vegetative cell uh, takes several hours and this process is known as uh, spor sporulation or sporogenesis. And the sporulation takes place during the stationary phase of the growth curve. And this is the the sporulation cycle the first this part this region shows the binary fission of the bacteria and this is the uh, sporogenesis or sporulation cycle and this contains uh, seven stages and this is stage one in the stage one the dna replicates and extends into the axial filaments here we can observe the difference between the normal cell and the dna replicated cells and here the DNA replicates and extends into the axial filament. In the second stage, the septum is formed. Here the septum starts to form. The septum forms near uh, one pole and separating the four spore from the mother cell. Here the septum is formed. In this image, the four spore is formed and the four spore separates itself from the mother cell. This region is called as mother cell and this region is the four spores. This, this is uh, stage three. This both represents the stage three. In the stage three, what will happen means the mother cell engulf the four spores and surrounding it with a second membrane here. Here it start to engulf. Here the, com the spore cell completely engulfed the, uh, the mother cell completely engulfed, in, um, uh, completely engulfed the uh, four spore and forms the double layer and in the stage 4 the chromosome of the mother cell will starts to disintegrate here see the here the chromosome of the mother cells will start to disintegrate okay in the stage 5 the four spore develop a cortex layer of the, the here here in the stage 5 the four spore develop the cortex layer of the peptidic glycan between the original four spore membrane and the membrane of the uh, mother cell. Here the cortex is formed. In the stage 6, the typicolic acid is started to synthesized and calcium is incorporated into the spore plot. Here on the cortex layer, the typicolic acid started to synthesize and the exosporangium also was well, developed, uh, was well developed in this stage 6. In the final stage or stage 7, what will happen means the mother cell released the spores. Here, the endospores are present within the mother cell. And after in the end of the sporulation cycle, the mother cell releases the endospores out. Here, the endospores come out and start to germinate as the mother cell. This is the sporulation or sporogenesis or endospore form forming cycle. Next is the factors giving resistance to the endospores. Uh, four factors are giving resistance to the endospores among the four. The first factor is the calcium dipicolinate. It stabilizes and uh, protects the endospore DNA. The second factor is the small acid soluble proteins or SASPs. Uh, they protect the endospores from heat, drying, chemicals and radiations. Uh, they also function as the carbon and the energy source for the development of the vegetative bacterium. Uh, during the germination of the spores. The third one is the cortex. The cortex layer uh, osmotically remove water from the interior of the endospores 
and the dehydration that result is thought to be a very important in the endospore resistance to heat and radiation and the final factor is the DNA repair enzymes they are contained within the endospores and are able to repair the damaged DNA during the during the germination process and finally the functions of the endospores the protection of bacterial DNA is the primary function of the endospores and it also provides uh, resistance against heat, boiling, drying, antibiotics, low nutrient conditions, radiation, osmotic pressure and various chemical disinfectants. These are all the uh, functions of the bacterial endospores. Thank you for listening and support. Thank you.